The Remote Support Platform, which is the fundamental support platform for SAP Business One, now offers a remote connection service for all SAP Business One customers. Leveraging the SAP Router application, additional support benefits are now available to SAP Business One customers, providing a secure remote access to SAP Business One customer systems, resulting in a faster resolution process, enabling support to more easily perform root cause analysis within the customer environment. These remote sessions are logged for audit purposes and the customer has full control in order to manage the remote connection service. Today, with the Remote Support Platform 3.2 Patch Level 3, we will show you how to implement remote connection for your customer environment, enabling secure remote access between your customer and SAP. We begin by logging into the Remote Support Platform using your RSP credentials. Now before we begin setting up the remote connection, we're just going to run through some key prerequisites to ensure your installation is performed correctly. You need to ensure that RSP 3.2 Patch Level 3 is installed in the customer environment. You also need to ensure that the Java Runtime Environment 1.8 or higher is installed. The RSP console must be opened as an administrator when launching the SAP Remote Connection Installation Wizard. Internet access to the SAP Service Marketplace must also be available and the SUser ID with the following authorizations such as being able to edit system data, open a remote connection, download software and edit all and my login data must be available. You also need a static public IP address that has been set up correctly. And at the conclusion of this exercise you will be able to set up the remote connection and book and open or close selected remote services. To start, we select File, Manage SAP Remote Connection. A new window pops up where you can trigger the Remote Connection installation tools. By entering your SUser and password details, these will be carried through to all of the installation wizards required throughout this setup process. For the initial setup, it is required to run the embedded wizards in specific order to ensure that the SAP router installation and configuration are working. We're now going to click on the Remote Connection Configuration Wizard and enter the login details on the initial screen. This leads to the launch of the first tool to book the required services, for example, for your SAP HANA database or your Windows Terminal Server to enable remote access. We now need to fill out the appropriate login details. Our S user and password have been carried across from the Remote Connection Management window and now we need to ensure that the correct system number for our customer has been entered. If you need to connect through a proxy server, you simply choose the option Use Proxy Server Settings for Connections and then by clicking on the Proxy Settings tab, you can enter your proxy settings. To book a service for your remote connection means enabling a service to be used by SAP support to connect your specified machine, whether it be a HANA database or Windows Terminal Server. Windows Terminal Server and the HANA SQL Server service have to be configured to install the SAP router in the next wizard. Booking is typically done once and only requires modifications in the event a service related property has been changed, for example the IP address of a Business One database. Once these services have been selected, you simply select Finish. In order to ensure the used details are replicated at the backend systems, you need to wait at least four minutes before running the next installation wizard. Here, you get a summary of booked services and based on the selected service, a customized tool will be downloaded in the next step. Before starting the software installation wizard, we need to verify that port 3299 is not blocked by a firewall or any other hardware or software. This port is required to build up a proper service connection between SAP Backend and your network. We're now going to run the software installation wizard. Again, we need to enter our login credentials. We also need to enter 
the static public IP address which is obtained from your ISP. The software installation wizard installs and configures the SAP router software. The SAP router requires a static public IP address in order to establish a secure network connection between SAP and the customer network. The pre-install phase checks your system requirements and downloads additional required software components. To initiate the process, we simply select Verify. The verification procedure will run through a number of automated steps. It will verify that you are allowed to use the SAP cryptographic library. It will verify that the static IP address for the SAP router installation is valid. It will store the SAP router information within the system data and verify that you have booked at least one service with the remote connection configuration wizard. It will create an SAP router certificate request and it will also update the SAP router certificate. Once the verification process is complete, we can move on to the installation phase. The installation phase installs the previously downloaded software components on your system. And to initiate this process, we simply select Install. We can then complete the installation process by selecting Finished. The summary phase lists the result of the installation process. It also allows testing the connection by pressing the Test Connection button. If the connection is working as expected, you will receive a success message and the connection status icon will change accordingly. Should an error message be displayed, please create a support ticket under the SBO component RSP-SER. We're now going to run the third tool, the Remote Connection Service Opener, to save the login credentials for the booked services. This will also authorise to close or open a connection. Support can only connect to an open connection, which you can open from this screen. Under Services, we've got a number of services that we can open. To toggle the opening state, you have to click on the corresponding state icon. If a service is not marked to be open, it is not possible to modify any of the associated fields. You are also able to set the user for the service. You can click on the corresponding User Service field and enter the username. For example, this is my user. You can also set a password for this particular service. You are now able to define how long a service should be open. And to do this, you click on the duration cell, and this opens a window to set the duration that this service will be open for. For example, we can set the duration to be one day. The maximum duration for a service is 20 days and 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Once the duration is passed, the service is closed automatically, preventing SAP support to establish new connections until it is opened again. Now to activate the updated service configuration, we simply select Finished. The summary screen lists the updated service configuration. We simply select the close button to close the tool. In order to book additional services or remove services, we then simply launch the remote connection configuration wizard and the software installation wizard again. We have now shown you how to set up a remote connection and how to book and open and close selected remote services. Thank you for your time today and make sure you check out the remote connection with the Remote Support Platform 3.2 Patch Level 3.